Hi, this is Jay Boone down at Emerald City Guitars, and welcome to our pick of the day. Uh, so today we got a really special edition going on here. Um, got a, a buddy of ours, Nick Martin, down here, and uh, Nick came in as a customer, and I heard him playing guitar in the back room, and I was like, holy cow, you are an amazing guitar player. And uh, when he told me how old he was, I was even more blown away. Nick's 17 years old, he's been playing for 11 years. And I'm just, I'm really glad you're down here, man. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So we have a, a guest guitarist here today, and we also have a guest guitar. So Nick is holding a guitar that uh, belongs to a gentleman named Richard Curl. And this was Richard's grandpa's no caster. And his grandpa's name was Richard Curl as well. And uh, apparently he was a musician that played all around the Northwest, played up in Alaska. and. Uh, his grandpa acquired this guitar in 1956 uh, through a trade. He traded an acoustic, Gibson acoustic guitar for a pawn ticket and then consequently ended up getting this guitar in a pawn shop. So a, a great find back in 56. I can only imagine it was by today's standards pretty inexpensive, but a really cool, rare and well-used guitar with tons of stories in it. And uh, I can't wait to hear Nick play this a little bit later. Uh, so today, I thought, you know, by bringing the no caster in, it kind of completed this really cool trio that we have down here. Of the, we have a, a broadcaster here that's in our shop from 1950, and of course we have Richard Curl's no caster from 1951, and then we have just the Telecaster over here, and this is a 1954 Blackguard, and this is just pretty much how the Telecaster developed from being a broadcaster to no caster to a Telecaster as we know it today. Basically the same guitar, some slight differences of course, just in the, the three years of building that they transitioned from the broadcaster to the Telecaster, but that same basic design that you still see today. Just a, a great design that, man, don't mess with a, with a good thing, you know. Um, so we're gonna have Nick kind of just go through these in a little bit. He'll, he'll start out with the broadcaster, then he'll play the no caster and end up with the, the Blackguard Telly to his uh, left over there. And just give you a chance to hear these three wonderful guitars and uh, hear this young man play some great music. Man. Well, you can find me at nickmartinmusic.com, my Facebook page, Nick Martin Music, Instagram, just Nick Martin. And I'm playing uh, Everett Historic Theater on May 12th with Jeffrey Castle. That's one of the big shows coming up, but I play just about every weekend, small little bars and clubs. Awesome, man. Let's go see this guy, man. He's, a, he's just a fine young guitarist, and I'm sure you're gonna be hearing a lot about him in the years to come. Okay, we've got the 1950 broadcaster right here on the bridge pickup. Neck pick up.
Here's what we got Grandpa's Nilcaster 1951 bridge pickup. Neck pickup. Okay, we got the 1954 Blackguard Telly. Here's our bridge pickup. neck pickup. All right, Nick, that was amazing, man. Nick Martin, check him out at nickmartinmusic.com, correct? Yep. And Facebook, Nick Martin Music. And also, if you want to check that No Caster out, uh, go to Facebook under Grandpa's No Caster, and you can see the story on that from Richard Curl as well. So, man, thank you, brother. Thanks Great for to have me. you down here, and go out and see this guy play. And that ends our special edition of Pick of the Day.